stuff. And yes, I'm about to cry because I don't want to leave, but there's a reason why I can't stay. And I'm basically happy I did come. Just wanted to let everybody know I am happy. And I'm glad everybody told me to come. Chris's parents are wonderful. Granted, his dad's been in the hospital all this time and didn't get a chance to get to know him. But as of now, Christopher is locked in his bedroom because we had a fight. And I'm not going into too many details on here, but um, it's a decision he has to make because I've already made mine. And it's now up to him in his hands because I feel at home here. And I don't want to go home because I actually fit in somewhere finally. The people actually thought when I went into Cardiff that I actually was a Welsh resident. A lot of people kept saying how we were a cute couple and asked us how long we've been dating and stuff. Um, everyone was just ecstatic. Like, I fit in, finally. But a decision had to be made. And it's his choice now. So, many of you know, it could have been coming. But at the same time, he still hasn't made the decision yet. So I'm preparing you all for the fallout, if any, or some good news. But right now, I will say this, he made the decision before I even got here. He had a thought in his head and thought he could change it. So right now, it's a waiting game. I leave exactly around 3 a.m. their time. And now it's a choice of his. Me? Sorry about that, guys. Um, the connection's bad. But me, I have a reason to visit his parents, his sister, everyone around here that I made friends with. Maybe I'll find a job out here. Because I did try to go get a job at Doctor Who Experience, but you have to live here to do that. Maybe the new Disney World that's building in London. Who knows? But I want to let you guys know I'm okay. I have been through so much these past three weeks that I will never change. But at the same time, I really don't want to go home. I love it here. Even if someone doesn't want me. I love it here. I mean, you can't get beat that. Come on. There's even a cow behind there. I just can't cross because I have no shoes on. Um, so I'm packing my bags right now. I am trying to get ready. And he's locked himself in his room. And to many of you out there who hope this was going to happen, you got your wish. And any of those who feel that this is disappointing, I pray you maybe may change his mind. Or it's his decision. Because either way, I'm glad I took this trip to show everyone that I am my own person. And I did something where no one could control, could control it. Yeah, right now my mother's cursing out my father because of things and stuff. Making sure I get back in time. But, and even the funny thing is today, my flight changed. It was actually canceled and shift to an earlier time so I'm actually going to be back in New York earlier than I expected so just letting everybody know I'm okay a little sad but it's two re reasons why I'm sad I basically was not chosen before I was even chosen and I just said my piece and hopefully when I get back I make a decision, final, a final decision, but I'm just letting you guys know that I would not change anything that happened out here because it was the best thing I ever did. I had so much fun and I fit in finally, but I don't fit in with somebody. Catch 22, huh? I'm sad I'm going home. I really want to come back. But it's not my choice. It'll be my choice to visit. But it won't be my choice to stay. So, to all these out there who are caring, and I know it's early in New York. It's probably just 5 o'clock or something. Um, I'm okay. And to those who are friends with both of us, it was his decision, not mine. He made the choice. 
And it's up to him now. Because right now he's in his room and won't come out. And I want, I mean, we had to say what had to be said because of things. And I really don't want to go home, but I have to. And like I said, I needed a reason to come visit. Yes, I have reasons to come visit. Many people, friends I met, his family. But I don't have a reason to stay. And I would love to stay out here. I finally fit. So if you guys see this not live, leave your comments and everything. But I'm okay. At least I have a day before I have to go back to work that I can recuperate. And do things but if you see something change on my page it wasn't my decision because I still love him and I still care about him and I know he does but I don't think he understands what really he fell because everyone sees it but him so maybe when I'm gone it'll hit him like a ton of bricks or maybe not or he just basically that's his decision either way I took a leap of faith found I actually fit here and now it's just the waiting game so um I really don't want to go home I love it here I feel like I'm actually supposed to be here I don't feel like an outcast I don't feel like I don't fit especially like when I'm at work or anything it feels like I'm supposed to be here I was meant to be here but I don't have a reason to stay here. And it hurts. I have a reason to visit. Oh, sure, I'll visit. Maybe look into jobs here. But I just want to let everybody know I'm okay. Packing my bags. I leave at 3 o'clock in the morning here. Which is probably like, I don't know, 5 hour difference or anything. So, guys, I had a blast here and I wish it was on a happier note but I will be doing damage control when I get back because right now there's still not a decision made because he locked himself in his room but if I go home I go home and I make a decision when I get home I hate the signals dying so all of you just remember I am okay this was not my idea it was his and yes, I got yeah, I don't have tissues. I don't regret it. Because in my soon to be forty years I've had to do what other people have said. Had to go where they had to go, listen to what they had to listen to. No one ever cared about me. What's gonna change about that? I know who cares about me. The people I'm seeing right now who just joined this. The people who warned me about this. The people who are going to hug me when I get back. <laughs> I don't want to go home. I don't like it here. But no one wants me here. Others want me here. But someone doesn't want me. And uh, I'm okay. But yeah, there's still a couple hours before I leave. This could change. But on this sad note, I really must get home I don't want to go but I'll make a few decisions because even the doctor who experienced that I had to live in Cardiff to actually work there and I'd fit in so please anyone seeing this when it's not live because I I mean thank you Ilya because that's what I'm trying to do I don't feel like an outcast. I just wanted to be wanted. And maybe it's not, but who knows? It could change when I go back home. But I'm looking into jobs, yes. Disney's being built over here. If I move to Cardiff, does it the Doctor Who experience other things? But that's another leap of faith after I start figuring out what I'm doing because I said to everybody I said am I packing or am I not packing I'm going to have to do more at home before I decide what I'm going to do 
But as of now, it's a sad because I don't want to go. I love it here. And the rest is basically his decision he made before I even got here. And I don't know if I can change it. I don't know if he's going to change it. But he's locked in his room right now. Because of yesterday, what we we talked about. So, there's a few more hours before I leave. And I'm dripping all over the place. So, I'm going to sign off for now. I'll update you guys even while I'm in the car. If I get some signals. But, I don't feel like an outcast here. Like I do at home. But, bye guys. But I'm okay. I'll be home soon. Alright, I'll be home Saturday. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye.